Well, hello and welcome back to Library Class at Home with Mr. S. I hope you've been enjoying the, vi the uh, videos this week. We've been listening to silly stories that rhyme. Today's is an oldie but a goodie. I know that I probably read you this one earlier in the school year, but I just can't help it. I love these Gruffalo books so much. This is The Gruffalo's Child, and maybe you remember it, maybe you don't, but it's about this little character here um, who is the daughter of the Gruffalo from a different book and how she gets very curious and tries to find the big bad mouse out in the woods. It was uh, written by Julia Donaldson and the uh, illustrations were done by Alex Schiffler. We're going to take a look at this story and uh, here we go. The Gruffalo's Child. The Gruffalo said that no Gruffalo should ever set foot in the deep dark wood. Why not? Why not? Because if you do, the big bad mouse will be after you. I met him once, said the Gruffalo. I met him a long, long time ago. What does he look like? Tell me, Dad. Is he terribly big? Is he terribly bad? Hmm, I can't quite remember, the Gruffalo said. Then he thought for a moment and scratched his head. The big bad mouse is terribly strong, and his scaly tail is terribly long. His eyes are like pools of terrible fire, and his terrible whiskers are tougher than wire. One snowy night. While the Gruffalo snored, the Gruffalo's child was feeling bored. The Gruffalo's child was feeling brave, so she tiptoed out from the Gruffalo's cave. The snow fell fast, and the wind blew wild, and into the woods went the Gruffalo's child. Ah, oh, a trail in the snow. Whose is this trail, and where does it go? A tail po poked out from a log pile house. Could this be the tail of the big bad mouse? What do you guys think? Is that the tail of the big bad mouse? No. What other creature has a long scaly tail? A snake. You're absolutely right. Out slid the creature. His eyes weren't small. And he didn't have whiskers. No, none at all. You're not the mouse. Not I, said the snake, but he's down by the lake eating gruffalo cake. The snow fell fast and the wind blew wild. Uh, I'm not scared, said the gruffalo's child. Ah, oh, marks in the snow. Whose are these claw marks and where do they go? Two eyes gleamed out from a treetop house. Could these be the eyes of the big bad mouse? What do you guys think? Are these the eyes of the big bad mouse? Does a mouse live up in a tree like that? Hmm. What could live in a tree like that? A rhinoceros. No. No. Hmm. A badger. No. <gasps> an owl. Yes? Yeah, I think those are the eyes of an owl. Down flew the creature. His tail was short, and he didn't have whiskers of any sort. You're not the mouse. Toohoo, not I, but he's somewhere nearby eating gruffalo pie. The snow fell fast and the wind blew wild. I'm not scared, said the gruffalo's child. Ah, oh, a track in the snow. Whose is this track and where does it go? Whiskers at last and an underground house. Could this be the home of the big bad mouse? What do you guys think? Could this be the home of the big bad mouse? No, I don't think it's a mouse. Its nose is too big. That looks like a fox. Do you think it's a fox? Hmm, I think it's a fox. Out slunk the creature. His eyes weren't fiery. His tail wasn't scaly. His whiskers weren't wiry. You're not the mouse. Oh no, not me. But he's under a tree drinking Gruffalo tea. Oh, it's all a trick, said the Gruffalo's child, as she sat on a stump where the snow lay piled. I don't believe in the big bad mouse. But here comes a little one out of his house. Not big, not bad, but a mouse at least, and you'll taste good as a midnight feast. 
taste. Wait, said the mouse, before you eat, there's a friend of mine that you ought to meet. If you let me hop on to a hazel twig, I'll call my friend who's so bad and big. The Gruffalo's child unclenched her fist. <gasps> the big bad mouse, he does exist. The mouse hopped on to a hazel tree and beckoned her over. Just wait and see. Mm. Out came the moon. It was bright and round and a terrible shadow fell on the ground. Who is this creature so big, bad, and strong? His tail and his whiskers are terribly long. His ears are enormous, and over his shoulder he carries an acorn as big as a boulder. The big bad mouse, yelled the Gruffalo's child. The mouse jumped down from the twig and smiled. Ah, oh, prince in the snow, whose are these footprints and where do they go? The footprints lead, lead to a Gruffalo cave, where the Gruffalo's child was a bit less brave. The Gruffalo's child was a bit less bored. And the Gruffalo's snored, and they snored, and they snored. All right, boys and girls, that's the end of this story. What a cool story. I know that many of you have probably heard it before because I've read it to, to you before, but it is just an awesome, uh, awesome story. So really, what was she afraid of in the end? Was she afraid of the mouse? No, not really. She was afraid of the mouse's shadow. That's kind of crazy. Um, I don't know. It still could be kind of scary, though. What are you afraid of? I'm afraid of spiders. Well... Not all spiders, not little spiders, but big spiders scare me. If you want to tell me something that you're afraid of, you can leave me a comment on my Google Classroom page. Uh, don't forget to click the button that says Turned In after you watch this video so that I know that you've seen it. And check back tomorrow for another awesome, silly story that rhymes. I hope you've enjoyed this, and I hope you guys are staying safe at your houses. And I'll uh, see you guys tomorrow. Spaghetti. Recording it? Yeah. I, I think I have most of the original Gruffalo story memorized. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can help me. Let's see. Uh, a mouse took a stroll through the deep dark woods. The mouse saw a nut and the nut looked good. There's a fox, right? The fox comes mm -hmm. and he's like, Where are you going to, little brown mouse? Come and have lunch in my underground house. That's terribly kind of you, fox, but no, I'm going to have lunch with a Gruffalo. A Gruffalo? What's a Gruffalo? A Gruffalo, Fox. I'm surprised you don't know. His, ar his eyes are orange. His tongue is black. He's got purple prickles all over his back. And where are you meeting him? Here by these rocks. And his favorite food is roasted fox. Roasted fox? Um, oh my, oh no, it's something away I go. Silly old fox, doesn't he know there's no such thing as a Gruffalo? There's more, right? There's an owl, there's mm -hmm, a snake, yeah. and then the Gruffalo turns out to be real. And then he says, my, uh, my favorite food, and he picks up the mouse, and he's going to eat the mouse. And the mouse is like, don't call me good, I'm the scariest creature in this deep, dark woods. Just walk behind me, and soon you'll see everyone for miles is afraid of me. Uh, and the Gruffalo says... Uh, oh sure, said the Gruffalo, bursting with laughter. You walk ahead and I'll follow after. And then he hears paws on the, on the path below, but the fox only stares at the Gruffalo. Why fox? Hello? I forget the rest of it. Anyway, the point is I don't have the book with me right now. It's still back at school, but I have a good portion of it memorized. Eh, eh.